Here we are in the Tinkercad interface. Um, it's online, anybody can use it, it's free. I'm gonna show you a real quick and easy way uh, to make a, a number two uh, for 3D printing. Uh, my particular project has some specific requirements. It's uh, not just a 3D printing project, it's also a video project in which I wanna watch this number two emerge from the build plate and you can see a number two is a pretty complex shape. It's got some overhang to it, so I'm gonna have to do some adjustments on it. Here, I'm squaring it up so that it fits inside the same, a, a cube that is the same size, 30 millimeters on each edge, and that is so I can tip this at 45 degrees and chop it into two equal, uh, but in a way, uh, reflected parts. Um, that's so I can, in one side, watch the two emerge right side up, and with the other part, watch the two emerge upside down on the 3D print bed. Um, so let's get this oriented, and then I'll show you how to cut this piece into two. Cut our two into two copies of it since we've got it all oriented and scaled we don't want to try and repeat what we just did so we'll just duplicate the part drag it over here far enough away that it's not affected by what we're doing to the first part and there are a couple of ways we can do it i'll show you both of them uh, first there are some primitives that start off as holes already there's the box hole in the cylinder um, Either one would work for what we're doing, but we're going to start with a box and then I'll show you another way to do this uh, later on. So we need to scale our box up so that it encompasses our two, the part of the two that we want to get rid of. And we'll get that lined up on there. And once we have it where we want it, we just group the two together and you can see I kind of want it close. It's not super important. It's not a precision piece. Like I said, the watching it come off the build plate is the most important part. But I need to be a little more precise than that. Uh, look at the top there. It looks like it's put a right angle notch in the top instead of uh, just cutting it across a flat plane. So thankfully we've got these handy undo buttons here at the top in our web API that uh, if we're patient and use them, we can go back to where we were. So let's group them and chop them again. And there we can see we've got our flat surface. And a little notch there on the bottom, but that's okay. That'll just help us make sure that we've got the other side cut uh, where we want it. So now let me get zoomed back in here on this other part. And I'll show you the other way to make a hole or a little Boolean uh, chopper, if you want to think of it that way. Um, you can grab any shape in Tinkercad from their collection. You can import your own shapes and you can turn those into holes too and, and cut holes, uh, remove sections of a part just by hitting the hole button there with whatever geometry you have selected. It will turn that into a hole. Um, but since we were doing a cube last time, uh, we're just going to do a cube this time. We don't have anything spectacular we need to do here with it. So we'll make our cube, get it scaled up, and now let's encompass our two again. This time from the bottom, so we get the other piece. And we're close. Let's bring it up another notch. The snap of the grid should align, or in this case misalign, uh, exactly the same way it did when you can see we've got that little edge of lip under the two there. Um, so now we've got them grouped and they've chopped apart and I'll show you they fit back together. Um, so they will be, the face of the two will be the same size whether it's looking at it one way or the other. And you see they match right back up. I can drop it down on it and drag it back to where it came from, basically. But that's not the idea here. We're not trying to make a piece that's going to glue together 
Um, though this would be one way to if you wanted to print a number two with no support structure and have uh, the front and back faces both printed not on the print bed you could leave this both middle faces uh, on the print bed but um, then I wouldn't be able to look at it upside down with the camera so here if I set it like that you can see it's a lot taller one piece is taller one piece is wider and that's just because they're offset the wrong way they're both chopped at 45 degree angles and they're both inside or fit inside a cube so our geometry is sound All right, we've got them oriented how we wanted. Um, select them both, group them, come over here and download for 3D printing. It'll give us our options to pick a, what we want as an STL. Um, there are other options if you want color. Uh, let's give it a name, our file, a unique name, call it to at 45 degrees or some such thing, uh, close enough. And that's our part we just downloaded it's a very simple part went very fast to download doesn't have that many polygons you can see just uh, you know about 250 polygons um, and there's our pair of twos pardon the pun on poker and we can just set them like that I can watch one print upside down out of the print bed and the other one right side up Neither will need support structure, um, regardless of which flat face I would orient them to.